Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is the first time I'm actually showing my face, so nice to meet you all. So today we're going to be talking about Forex trading and building automated EA bots that can potentially help you earn some money, not guaranteed. So let's just, you know, start the video. So it's going to be a series parts that I'm going to explain in a bit. So in this series, we're going to be going through a few lessons. So we're going to have like an intro to MQL5 and how to create EAs, which is what this video is about. And the next video will have an explanation on structs, includes and reusable logics. And then we could then start building a simple EA, a Martingale EA, hedging EA, breakout strategy, and an EA that utilizes the RSI, MACD, RBI, and all of that. So yeah. All right, so let's get into it. So basically, MQL5, it's a programming language that you could use to build bots. So I'm hoping at this point, um, you sort of know how to trade and sort of know, understand, you know, how the market moves, how it's not guaranteed. You understand pips, you understand leverage, you understand margin call and all those, yada, yada. So I'm not going to really talk about that. So I'm just going to have a deep dive into building bots and all of that. So let's, so what I'm looking out of this video is just to connect to like-minded individuals. So in my own ideology of the forex markets is kind of a, to me, it feels a bit random, although I know news events happen and all of that, but I feel like it's a bit random and I feel like you can actually find some logical way to do something over and over again and print money, hopefully, as long as you're managing your risk properly. Yeah. So let's dive into the video. This is my MC5. So I'm using just market um, broker. So the reason I'm using them is mostly because they have, you know, very good leverage. So their leverage goes to like 3,000. If your account is lower than $1,000 and so on and so forth. So you could check them out. So I'll leave a link in the description. So you could check that out as well. Yeah, so for you to create an EA, when you open your MC5, you need to go over to your navigator. If you don't have this, you could click on view and you see navigator over there. Then to pop this up. So you go to your expert advisor, right click, then create in meta editor. All right, so that brings this up, which is your meta editor. So from here, what you need to do is to create, click on new, and then it brings up this wizard. So you just need to click next. Uh, let's call this YouTube slash first EA. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's finished. So here yeah, you have your first EA. So you could compile that and that would, you know, generate the codes, which obviously has nothing in it. But when you go to your expert advisors, when you go back to your MT5 rather, you could refresh and you will see YouTube and you see your first EA. So congrats, you are one step closer to being a profitable trader. So, so let's continue. Um, so yeah, so this is your, this is MQL5, which is um, similar to C++. So you need to also have um, knowledge of programming a bit to be able to use this. So we have three methods here, which are the on init. So the on init basically means once the program starts, if you need it to run some things or check some inputs, you could add that over here. If everything is fine, it's going to return this and it succeeded, which is like an enum. <clears throat> so if everything isn't fine, you can return some other error and you can pop that up or, or it will log it out for you. Then you have on D in it means when the program is removed, maybe you want to remove some charts, remove some, um, indicators that you've included and stuff like that. All right, so we also have the untick method here. This method means that when, whenever there's a tick from your broker, it's going to be called. 
So you need to ensure that your code is very, your EA is very sufficient so that it doesn't, you know, waste memory because this is going to be called every single tick. So you need to ensure that you're not writing um, stuff that makes your CPU usage go high or your memory usage go high and all of that. So, yeah. So we can do, if we want to test this out, we can do like a quick print. I'm going to type hello world. Then also, if you want to test the on init, you could also type hello on init here. Then you could use this to style your code so it helps you format it and keep a clean looking code. So yeah, let's compile that. So when you go here and you see your EA, there's something they call strategy tester. So if you right click on this, you could test. So this opens up your strategy tester. Then you could select um, a symbol you'd like to test. So assuming you wanted to test maybe NZD for some, for example, but it's not showing up, that means you need to add it to your market watch. So if I add NZD, US to here, then you could see it now pops up here. So I could select that. So you could select whatever time frame you want, select the date period. If you want to test between a certain um, date range. Then all this, you could just leave it as is. You could put in the custom amounts you want, the custom leverage you want, then all of this. We'll talk about this later as we move forward. But yeah, then you also have inputs, but we don't have any yet, so we'll get to that later as well. So once you're done with that, you could just ensure this is ticked, then click on Start. So it's going to download the test data, or rather the history for the pair that you want to test and save it on your local computer so that you can also always refer back to it when you need to. So let's just give it a moment. All right, so that just finished downloading the six data. So once we we'll get this pop-up, which is the visualization for this tester. So you have your controls to play, to stop, to move slower or move faster, and also a slider just to handle that. So you go to the journal, journal shows you all your logs from the initial inits of the tester. So you can see our hello on inits and hello world also here. So once you play this on every single tick, so you can see hello world, hello world getting logged. So this is why we need to ensure we're writing you know, very efficient code because hello world is going to be stored on your system's disk. So you could also, you know, uh, wipe away your memory, your storage rather, if you don't efficiently log things properly. So yeah, that's about that. All right, guys, that is for this video. Hit that subscribe button and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also remember my broker is in the description. It has very good spreads and high leverage. So check it out if you want. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.